We are on day four of the investigation into the apparent assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump right here in our backyard. And CBS 12 News is continuing to push for answers. Right now, there are multiple investigations underway into Sunday's apparent assassination attempt at Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach. The federal investigation and, as Governor Ron DeSantis announced yesterday, a separate state investigation. The first is being run by this man, Jeff Veltri, the FBI special agent in charge of its Miami Bureau. Florida U.S. Attorney Mackenzie uh, LaPointe is leading the office prosecuting the suspect, Ryan Ralph. But tonight, we still don't know who is leading the state investigation. CBS 12's Al Pefley spent the day pressing for answers. He joins us live outside the FDLE office in Boynton Beach with more on that. Al? Liz, the Palm Beach County Office of the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is here in this office building in Boynton Beach. And you can see the agency's name right there on that sign outside the main entrance to the building. Now, they happen to be on the third floor. We could not get past the lobby. I'm from uh, CBS 12. My name is Al Pefley. And we'd like to know if we could see someone at the FDLE. We were hoping to get some information from the FDLE about how they're going to proceed with their investigation. We were told someone would come down to see us. That didn't happen. So we wanted to see if someone here could actually speak with us. They gave us a number to call. You've reached the office of Jensen Rayburn, public information officer for the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Miami and Fort Myers regions. Later, yes. FDLE sent a press release containing a series of quotes from Tuesday's news conference, including this one in which Governor DeSantis promises full transparency. I've directed state agencies to move expeditiously and to provide full transparency to the public. We wanted to know who would be leading the investigation. What is that person's background? What kind of resources will be assigned to the case? How are they going to handle information sharing with federal investigators? Without official answers, we turned to Rick Morris, a former FDLE special agent who was also the former West Palm Beach deputy police chief. It'll be organized out of the governor's office through Tallahassee, through the commissioner. And what it'll do is it'll filter down to the special agent in charge of the Miami Field Division. He will run the run run the day-to-day -day operations. Obviously, this is strategic operations we run out of Tallahassee. Morris expects investigators will get whatever resources they ask for. There's gonna be witnesses in South Florida, obviously, that be interviewed. It's gonna be quite a task. FDLE's just got under 2,000 agents. So at the governor's direction, it could be unlimited resources. An example would be what happened in Parkland during the you know Stoneman Douglas shooting. FDLE supported that, and they came in with their team uh, and had an independent investigation separate from the sheriff's office at the time and some of the other agencies. And Morris tells me an investigation like this will take months, possibly more than a year. Hopefully at some point, FDLE and the state prosecutor's office will be ready to talk details with us as the governor promised they would. Live in Boynton Beach, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News. Hi, I'm Liz Kedantis. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.